Hi guys, welcome to lockdown lessons number three. We're carrying on really in the same vein as the previous two, where uh, we're still talking about being faced by uh, a confrontational person and you suspect they may be ready to launch a physical attack. Now the next thing I want to talk about is when you're under pressure, if somebody is ranting and raving and swearing at you and, and threatening you, then we tend to get tunnel vision, which means we sort of focus in on that person and what they're saying. It's really more important to concentrate on their body language and uh, what their hands are doing rather than what they're actually verbally saying to you. Really, this is referred to as an interview stage where they're um, interviewing you as a likely candidate to punch out or not. And at this moment in their time, they're going to make that decision. So you don't want to go nose to nose with somebody. And you certainly, as I explained before, need to keep them at arm's length. If we imagine a, a torch beam, if we turn the torch beam to a pinpoint, we could illuminate a certain spot on a wall. If we open the torch beam out, then it will give us a bigger view of what's on that wall. And this is very much the same if we go into tunnel vision, we really are looking through what looks like a toilet roll holder. If we can open out our vision so that we can see to the periphery as well, then we've got a much better chance of uh, avoiding an attack. If there's a third party there that's gonna try and come in and sucker punch you, you'll have a chance to see them. Or if it's one person in front of you, you'll be able to see what they're doing with their hands. Now, really, you want to concentrate on looking just below the nose. So we're looking at this triangle of the shoulders and the lower half of the head. This allows you to pick up any telltale movements if the person is preparing to attack you. What happens is they can't move without their shoulder dipping or moving forward or back in some shape or form. So for instance, if I reach in my pocket for something, you can see the shoulder drop. If I load up my hand ready to throw a punch, the shoulder will drop. And this will give you a pre-indicator and give you a chance to be able to preempt this or to cover up and stop yourself from being hit or hurt. So it's really important that we look for the body language and what they're doing with their hands. If we can't get that preemptive strike in and they start unloading on you, as with the previous video, we cover up and then we close the gap. In this instance, I'm going to show you clinching the back of the neck and squeezing your forearms tight down on their carotid arteries, beginning to slow the blood flow down. From here, we can then launch headbutt in, knee in, cut the head and uppercut, elbow or choke, guillotine, strangle, whatever you need to do. The technique is not as important as being able to read their body language and give yourself a chance to get back in the game before it's too late. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and um, I'll be back again very soon. Keep safe, take care.